Most respected Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji, Honorable Chief Minister Shri Vijay Rupani ji, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to each one of you. I am privileged to have participated, like Gautam Bhai, in all the nine vibrant Gujarat summit. And since the first one, it is very satisfying now that every other Indian state has since followed Gujarat's transformative template. The credit for this pioneering initiative and its subsequent replication must go to only one leader. He is the proud son of Gujarat. He is the visionary leader of India. And he is Sri Narendra Modi, our beloved Prime Minister, under whose leadership India is the fastest growing economic leader. Friends, Gujarat's reliance is Janma Bhumi as well as its Karma Bhumi. Gujarat has always been and will always remain our first choice. At Reliance, our motto is India first and within India, Gujarat first. We have so far invested nearly 3 lakh crores in the state of Gujarat and created and catalyzed over 1 million livelihood opportunities in Gujarat. In comparison to the past decades, Reliance will double this investment and employment numbers over the next 10 years. Reliance's new business model will move away from concentrated investment in a few locations to much larger investments in a distributed manner all across Gujarat. As a proud Gujarati myself, I wish to tell my six crore fellow Gujaratis that your dream is my dream. Can we forget make Gujarat the most prosperous place in the world? Yes, we can. And yes, we will. And how can we do this? By energizing the power of Gujaratis globally acclaimed enterprise and entrepreneurship by empowering and creating an enabling ecosystem that will make our Gujarati youth to be the best in the world and by harnessing the revolutionary power of emerging digital technologies of the fourth industry level. Gujarat will thus act as a model not just for India but for the entire world. As again, my friend John Chambers said. Friends, let me now talk about Reliance's five initiatives that align with Gujarat's future development model. Each of these initiatives will contribute significantly to our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi's inspiring vision of ease of living for everything. First, GEO is committed to create a fully digital Gujarat and make Gujarat the best digitally connected state in India. Today, Gujarat is the showcase for GEO's 4G wireless broadband network. This network already connects the entire state to the global information hub. This means connecting every home and office, every school and college, every hospital and doctor, every Monday and market. And Geo's network is fully 5G ready, which means Gujarat will continue to remain on the forefront of digital connectivity for years to come. And on the back of this world-class and most affordable digital connectivity, 
we can make our beloved Gujarat the number one in nurturing startups, in financial technology, agriculture technology, health technology, and other critical areas that enhance the well-being of every citizen. Number one in promoting new and renewable energy, new materials, and new mobility that create sustainable development. And also number one in building smart villages. Yes, not only smart cities, but also digitally empowered smart villages. This will mean a truly participative society where the power is in the hands of every individual, every family, every community and every business. Our second mega mission for India, which we will first roll out in Gujarat, is Geo and Reliance Retail will launch a unique new commerce platform to empower and enrich our 12 lakh small retailers and shopkeepers in Gujarat, which are part of over 3 crore community in India. Third, today our scientists and engineers have created highly promising innovations in our new oil to chemical strategy at Reliance's Jamnaga refinery, which is the largest in the world. As the world moves towards electrical vehicles, Reliance will use hydrocarbons less for fuel and more for producing high value new materials with a wide range of uses in society. Our oil to chemical strategy will greatly boost the value of Indian exports and also create new employment opportunities. Fourth, Pandit Deen Dayal University or PDPU here in Gujarat has today over 5,000 students. In a short time, PDPU has emerged to be amongst the top universities in Gujarat. The Reliance Foundation has committed an investment of Rs. 150 crores to make PDP even stronger and an institution of international development. Fifth, I am happy to mention that the Reliance Foundation, which is present in all districts of Gujarat and thousands of villages in other states in India, has demonstrated how India can move away from rural distress to rural progress. By combining the power of digital technology, Reliance Foundation will increase these success stories many more times in the coming years. Respected Prime Minister, the entire world has come to recognize you as a man of action. I therefore conclude with a suggestion for your kind consideration. We have all gathered here in this magnificent Mahatma Mandir. I pay homage to Mahatma Gandhi, the father of our nation, in the year of his 150th birth anniversary. Gandhiji led India's movement against political colonization. Today, we have to collectively launch a new movement against data colonization. In this new world, data is the new world, and data is the new wealth. India's data must be controlled and owned by Indian people and not by corporates, especially global corporations. For India to succeed in this data revolution, we will have to migrate the control and ownership of Indian data back to India. In other words, Indian wealth back to every Indian. Honorable Prime Minister, I am sure you will make this one of the principal goals of your Digital India mission. Thank you.